coming to you live from the contaminated dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Bagels and Locks. I am your host, Max the Animal, joined by my partner, Nikki Snacks. And as always, we're going to be giving you our best bets for this NFL Sunday action. That's exactly what we're going to do. We had a... Um, let's let's get the elephant out of the room. We had a miserable a combined tough, week last week. Tough week last week. We went 0-6. Uh, if, as you've been a, fo- if you've been following... As a fo- show. As a show. If you've been following, I'm 1-5 after a 13-2 start. Not great, but I'm still seven games over 500. So I'm still good to follow. You make your case, please. Because Listen, if you've been following the show... By now, you've hopefully you've hopefully been fading me. Hopefully, you've been fading yes, me for you your own d- sake. For my, you know, for my self esteem, I'd like you to still take my picks, right? I mean, that's not how this works. Because I'm gonna turn it around. I still believe that. This is actual money. You're telling them to take your picks when you're five and forty nine. Because I'm I'm, tur- I'm turning it around. See this? This is a new man. New pants. New shirt. Got some shoes on. I got my fancy bracelet. The watch. I am dressed to impress. Look good, feel good, pick good. Okay. That's it. No more robe. No more of that shit. Okay, okay. No, see, I understand the whole look good, feel good, pick good thing, but how the fuck could you literally sit there in front of the camera and tell our audience that you're turning around when you just went 0-3? Again. Stop. Again, Stop. for like the seventh week in a row. Pass. Whatever my record is, my record is. I know I have five wins. What am I, 5-15? 5-15? 5-16? I don't know. Whatever the fuck it says up there, I don't 5-16, not great. Let's, uh, should I go first this week? Because you've been going first. It didn't work for you. I, I want to see you win. Go first. I want to see you win. I want to see you win. I want us to win. We, we, everybody wants to see that. So Yeah, they I'm would like that. And here's, let, let's start this one off with, I, I should say all of these are big locks, but I can't because you know, that's not how the show works. <laughs> yeah, we started the week one with that. but uh. <laughs> So here's the deal. Green Bay at Kansas City. Green Bay's minus three and a half. You know why? Pat Mahomes is hurt. Matt Moore, here's a fun stat. Matt Moore is the starting quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs now. He is 20 and 11 against the spread. That's good, right? That ends. That's not gonna that, that all signs tell me I should bet the Chiefs. They say I should bet the Chiefs because of that stat. That stat says bet the Chiefs. So I'm gonna bet the Packers. Packers minus three and a half. Aaron Rodgers, they look great last week. What do you have? Four touchdowns? He looks like, like the old like Aaron Rodgers. So yeah, they're an hour ahead, whatever. Minus three and a half. Green Bay Packers, Aaron Rodgers. Let's lock it in. Good bet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Matt Moore 20 and 11 against the spread stat, and I'm going to take the Chiefs plus three and a half in Arrowhead against the Packers. The Packers are riding high. They've beaten some some quality opponents. I don't care. Well, they killed the Cowboys, so that's you know that whatever you want to say about the Cowboys. But it doesn't matter. Matt Moore played very well against your trash organization of a Denver Bronco team. Matt Moore's a very capable quarterback. They have the pieces. The Chiefs' defense always plays better at home in Arrowhead. The Packers haven't been to an environment like Arrowhead yet. They're 6-1. and one. They're riding high. They're without Devontae Adams, which I'm assuming he's not playing. He's been on my fantasy team. He's going to be out a, a, a month. Either way, I'm taking the Chiefs plus 3.5, and, and I love the this bet. I love it. Worst case, they lose in overtime on a field goal. That's it. Mano e mano. How would you like to settle this right now? No lawyers. You and me. Mano e mano. What does that mean? What does that mean? Carl, what does that mean? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, well, see, now we can't both go 3 0, so there's that. The first pick, mm-hmm. first pick in, the show's already f- what do you want me to do? You, you gave the analysis of why Matt Moore was the right player to pick, the right team to pick. So what did I do? I took your information and I took it, just like any good handicapper would do. I'm 14 and seven, seven games over 500. If you bet $100 on every game, you'd be up 590. 500, $590. You'd be up if you bet $100 on all my games. So I get it back all this week because I'm going 3-0, guaranteed. I actually have like three more sprinkle picks that I'm gonna I'm gonna send, but you know no, we don't do that. they don't count those. But I'm gonna sprinkle them. It's fine. I'm gonna sprinkle them. Sprinkle a little bit on the Chiefs money line. Here's go. this isn't a sprinkle. This is the whole fucking Sunday. Ready for this friend? Here we go. Tampa Bay at Tennessee Titans. The over last week I had a rough little experiment with the over and the unders. I was doing just totals. I was a serial man. Whatever. Listen, this week I'm doing one game like this, one total game, and it's this one because. 
Tennessee has Ryan Tannehill, who actually can throw the ball now. He's actually passing the ball downfield. Corey Davis looks like an actual wide receiver now, along with A.J. Brown, who's already a freak athlete, stud wide receiver, emerging, emerging, right? Yeah, right? I remember being in Nashville. We all were, we all couldn't wait for A.J. Brown, then we all, ugh, when he I, got to Tennessee. The over's so. 45 and a half, and the thing here is, the Tampa Bay pass defense is bad. We just saw Kyle Allen throw for 227 yards with two touchdowns against them. And we remember what Daniel Jones did to him a few now, weeks ago. And that ago. was in London with jet lag and all that other bullshit. So this is just a regular game in Tennessee. Tannehill's looking good. The second start, I think you're going to see him open up a little bit more. This over is going to hit probably three times. So they're going to score like 120 <laughs> points? Maybe like 90-something <laughs> points, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It's good. Oh, I, Listen... Over 45 and a half, lock it in. I have no words to say, but you know what? I love the analysis. It's not bad. You said Ryan Tannehill is a lot more capable than Marcus Mariota, and I've known that since day one. I, yeah, I, I listen, said that in the summer. I said he'd be taking over. He's on my yep. dynasty team in fantasy football. Yeah, brag about that. Gonna, I brag, brag about that one. Can we, can we cut that? No. <laughs> can we cut that? Brag, brag about that one. <laughs> brag about that one. So what I'm going to do here is... Um, <laughs> I'm going to do this to myself again. I'm disgusted with this. I'm taking the Giants plus six and a half. It's not a homer pick. It's a fucking homer pick. It's not a homer pick. I had good analysis why I took the Giants last week, but I'm going to scale back and I'm going to take them again for even better reason. The, the Detroit Lions have the 29th worst rushing defense in football. The, the Giants have the best running back in football. They have to get him going. They're going to get him going. Lions just traded their defensive captain in Diggs, their safety. They were all pissed. They were all tweeting about it. They are losing that locker room very slowly. I couldn't love the Giants six and a half more if I tried. And it's going to set up for heartbreak and failure for me like it always does. It's not a homer pick. I'm giving you solid, factual analysis. Daniel Jones, after a loss against the spread, I have no data because he's only started five games. However, I thought you were gonna give me a stat. However, like he's three and two. Or... He throws dimes. <laughs> he throws dimes. Darius Slayton is not playing. He's missed all week of practice. He, if, even if he is playing, he's going to be banged up. The Giants are going to take advantage of the play action pass. They're going to run the ball with Saquon Barkley. They're going to keep the the very potent Matt Stafford led offense off the field. That's not happening. The Giants six and a half is a lock. Lock. Say it with me. Three, two, one. Lock. 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 Listen, I, I'm just I'm disgusted with the fact that you're gonna go with two homer picks. Two I'm weeks, not done. I'm not done. Two weeks in a row. I'm not done. Two weeks in a row. You're gonna let the big dogs down two weeks in a row with homer picks. Okay, and when disgusting. the when, when the Giants cover, and then when they do this, when I tell you to do this right now, look me dead in the fing eye. Look me dead in the fing eye. Giants win this game outright. Sprinkle on the money line. You're just burying yourself. That's a homer pick. Burying yourself. That's a homer pick. I, we have to the Gi the Giants money line is a homer pick. However, the six and a half is not. They are going to cover the six and a half. At Stop. most, Stop. they Stop. lose by four. At most. Editor, At most. Editor, save this man and go to the big dog pick, please. Please save this man. Drew, give us your pick. Well, big dogs, my best bet of the week is the New York Jets plus six at Jacksonville. I think Greg Williams is going to get that rookie quarterback shook. Watch out for Florida native Marcus May. Everyone talks about Jamal Adams, but Marcus May is a very good young safety. He's a Florida native. He's going to have his family in the stands. Watch out. I can see an interception, maybe a pick six to the house. Another big factor, Chris Herndon's coming back from a hamstring injury. Him and Sam Darnold have very good uh, chemistry, especially in the red zone. They were uh, roommates the rookie year of training camp. That's another big uh, thing. Another thing, ghosts hate warm weather. Sam Darnold is not going to see no more ghosts, okay? Sam Darnold is going to be throwing that ball. Touchdown, touchdown. Robbie Anderson, touchdown. Chris Erndon, touchdown. And my final reason of why the Jets are going to cover is because me, I'm taking flight. Me, Fireman Ed, and a bunch of my Jets friends, I'm getting on a plane tomorrow, and I'm going down to Jacksonville, and I'll be making noise. And don't worry, Jets aren't going to cover. They're going to win outright. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. I love that pick. Yeah, I don't. I don't I hate it. I think uh, yeah, Jets plus six. Jacksonville's kind of 
one of those teams where you don't really know what they are each week. You're not sure what team you're going to yeah, get. You, How's you, you've gonna... lost a lot of picks on them. I don't even know. I've lost a lot of picks on everyone, so it's not like... Oh! Oh, my... You hear that? Yeah, those help. That helps. Yeah, I think it's time oh my for God. the Big Locks. Wait, wait, wait. Is, is that an earthquake, or is it a big... I don't know. Let's see what we got going on down here. Ooh. <laughs> oh, shit. That's how big these locks are. Oh. Breaking stuff. This is an antique, so we should, you know, not break it. But big locks just breaking stuff. We're breaking games. We're breaking picks. We're breaking lives. Breaking, breaking news. Bank accounts. Breaking bookmakers. <sighs> so many lies. Coming from you, it's probably not the best. So thing many to say. lies, but here's one that's not a lie. My big lock. And I said last week I was gonna guarantee all my big locks will win. And when I said that, I was I meant like after, like going forward. So this is the start of that. All my big locks will win. Guarantee it. Here we go. Carolina Panthers at San Francisco 49ers. Plus six. We're getting the Panthers are getting plus plus six for the Panthers, one of the best defenses in the league. An underrated, sneaky good defense being slept on. Panthers defense has been annihilating teams. This is all my analysis. Just the Panthers defense is good, and the 49ers are an overrated team. Their offense is it's all about the run game. They're predicated on the run game. They just traded for Emmanuel Sanders, trying to get something going in that offense for the wide receivers in the pass game. And it's not going to happen this week. Not this week. It's not going to happen this week. Panthers plus six. I think they might actually win this game. I hate to even f***ing say this. I might sprinkle on the this money line. This might be my favorite bet of yours. It's so easy. You're the, really, you're really, you're really bad at this game, but this is a very good pick. The Kyle Allen's playing lights out too. Zero interceptions through four games. Seven touchdowns, zero interceptions. He's a good ball player. He's playing good. Playing very good. Playing very well. Proper English. Now, f f f the proper ring that's, that's all I have. That's my big lock. It's a really good one. I hope you bet it. I hope it wins. <laughs> See, we went from week one being bet it, it's going to win, to week eight. I really hope you bet it. I really I hope it people, wins. Don't fade me anymore. Don't fade animal. Don't fade animal. That's a losing strategy. No offense. I love you, but... We, we turn it around. I hope so. I hope so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you my big lock of the week, and I'm gonna turn the I'm gonna turn the page back to last week where you tried to do something different because you're an atrocity at picking actual winners against the spread, and you went over unders. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go with an over under, and I'm going to go over fifty in the Houston Texans Oakland Raiders game Sunday. The Raiders have the 31st ranked red zone defense in the country. That's in the country in the NFL. The Houston Texans have the fourth ranked red zone offense in the country. In the NFL. So I'm expecting a lot of points. The only way the Raiders, the, the Texans have a very strong running game. The, the Raiders are going to have to throw the ball. The Texans are going to be scoring at will. The Texans are going to be scoring at will. I'm expecting them to put up 35, 36 points. All the Raiders got to do is score 13, and I think they can. Derek it's, Carr it is possible. Derek Carr is an imbecile. Tyrell Williams should be back, even if he's not. He's got Darrell Waller. He's got Josh Jacobs. He's got players. We're going over, over, over. Over 50. Houston Texans, Oakland Raiders, 50 points, big lock of the century, probably betting the mortgage on it. If it doesn't hit, I'll still be back here next week. You guys could kill me. Over 50, Houston, Texans, Oakland, Raiders, soon to be, Las Vegas, Derek Carr, pussy, still going to score. Over 50. Boom. 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 I like it. I think uh, I think it's got a shot. You got think it's got a shot? Well, you, it, it, the, both the defenses are. If bad. he it's thinks it's got a shot, it's a lock. They're going to score it's fucking got, it's seventy. Got it's got a shot. That's all. You know. 
All right, well. That was great. That's it, everybody. That was great. Hopefully we go 6-0, even though it's not possible because this douchebag bet against me right away in the first pick. Please join us every Sunday morning, 8.30 a.m. for more Bagels and Locks every weekend. That's it. Sign up, Patreon, BDGE. We answer all your fantasy questions there. Down here below, give us your best bets. We love you guys all. Thank you for listening. Bagels and locks.